Here's a little piece from the Zohar, the Kabbalistic text, um, on Noah and the covenant that uh, Hashem established with him, and which still stands to this day, and which is the Yesod, or the foundation of the Ten Commandments. So this is from Genesis 6.18, But I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall enter the ark with your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives. Um, so this is a bit from the Zohar. You have to know just a little bit about the Kabbalistic tree of life, and the only... Um, sphere that we'll be dealing with here is yesod which just means like foundation so noah was a righteous man this is assuredly so for his righteousness corresponds to yesod above that is why it is written the righteous are a foundation of the world and this comes from uh, proverbs and the earth is established upon him, meaning Noah. And like I said, um, or I have said before, that the, the seven laws of Noah, or these the covenant uh, established with him, are the foundation of international law to this day. He is the pillar, he being Noah and his covenant, he is the pillar that upholds the world. And what is Yesod, or the uh, foundation? It is the righteous. Thus, Noah is the righteous below, among the souls. And hence it is written, Noah was a righteous man, to teach us that the world is maintained by him. So the world is maintained by the righteous, and who are the righteous? Those who keep the covenant in the Torah. And the secret of all this is revealed in the words, And Noah walked with Elohim, which is in Genesis 6-9. It's actually Ha Elohim there. Which, uh, so Noah walked with Elohim, or God, which means to teach us that he never separated himself from God. This is something we can all meditate on. And he merited being called a righteous man on earth, as did the supernal Yesod, the foundation of the world. He, Noah, is the covenant of peace and the peace of the world. This covenant here is actually re referred to as the covenant of peace. Thus he is called man of the earth. And that is why the verse is written, Noah found favor in the eyes of Hashem, of God.